Hey there, Clashers, we've got some great Town Hall 8 Go Wipe, some excellent Hog strategies as well. It's another Town Hall 8 Let's Play episode, and it starts right now. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Galadon. You are watching Clash of Clans Attacks. Yes, it's another episode in the Let's Play Together series. We've got a clan full of Town Hall 8s. And yes, it is sponsored by Cash for Apps. Please do check it out. It not only can get you free gems in Clash of Clans, but it does truly support this channel that enables me to continue to make great videos for you guys every single day. Now, for the time being, it's only for Apple iOS users, but I promise to let you know as soon as it becomes available for Android. So let's kick it off by taking a look at Galidon's current Town Hall 8 base. Yes, I completely maxed out Town Hall 7 before I went to Town Hall 8. You can see here the first thing I've done is build the additional mortar, the additional wizard tower, and I'm working on getting those leveled up so that they can equal the existing mortars and wizard towers. Always smart to level up those brand new defensive structures first. Also, I've been working on my troops. Barch is still my go-to strategy, so I leveled up my barbarians and archers first, but now I'm working on my minions and in hopes that I can get some sort of balloon and minion strategy. We'll take a look at my profile. You can see I'm super close to 100 million gold stolen getting very close, haven't leveled up the king yet, haven't leveled up hog riders either, kind of have a phobia about those guys as you probably know. I uh, did get dragons up one level to try to help me in clan war, but this first clan war it just didn't go very well for a full attack. Uh, we tried very hard, 111 war stars, but we just could not beat PC community, 136 stars, 36 three-star attacks on our bases, props to them, well done. Uh, but also, we have to say props to none other than Jake, who came out of this war with our most heroic attack, and we will take a look at the replay right here. Now, Jake is a Town Hall 8, more advanced than I am. He's unlocked his Go Wipe troops, good for him. I uh, can't wait till I get there. And he's going up against a pretty advanced Town Hall 9. So it's Hall Order for any Town Hall 8, but a well-deployed Go Wipe is going to get it. And you can see here, he's done the right thing. He's dropped the Golems in, and they have distracted the defenses. The Wizard's in behind. The Wall Breaker's trying to get through that inner wall. Here comes those very dangerous Clan Castle troops. But a great Lightning Spell wipes out almost every single Clan Castle troop. I love this rage spell. Watch the wall breakers get through that inner wall now, and that is a gaping hole towards the town hall. The rest of his troops moving in now. The clan castle, the Pekka, the king as well. Everybody headed towards the center. There's a second rage spell right smack on the town hall. Lots of damage going on. The Teslas, the Expos. Here comes the queen getting involved, but the town hall goes down thanks to the Pekka and the wizards right before the defending queen distracted those Pekka. The wizards helping to take out that town hall. Already up to 44% damage. And once all of the structures on the inside are down 45%. And that is tough because you've got higher level walls that the king has got to get through to try to get that second star. The iron fist is in full effect and that is going to help him get through that wall. The Pekka on the left has also gotten through. And that is going to push him through to the second star. 50% damage. And he's still going strong. An excellent go wipe attack. Town Hall 8 versus Town Hall 9. Great to see two stars in Clan Wars from Jake. But Jake wasn't our only war hero, far from it. We will turn to JRCJ of full attack for an excellent Hog Rider strategy attack here. He's got Town Hall 8 troops going up against the Town Hall 8. Worried a little bit about this dragon in the clan castle, but you can see he has effectively pulled it out to the side and he's brought a dragon of his own plus a dragon in his own clan castle and that will easily handle that defending dragon. Now here comes the two massive streams of Hog Riders from the outside of the base. Just really having to worry primarily about big bombs and spring traps as about a half a dozen Hog Riders go into space right there. Timing of the heal spells and placement obviously key. You can see a big group on the right hand side. There's a big bomb, but it is not going to bother those Hogs. There doesn't look like there's a spot where there's a double big bomb and that is really via downfall of the Hog Rider attack strategy at Town Hall 8. Here is the next heal spell just ahead of the Hog Riders again, catching them as they go through all of these defenses. Lots of skeletons popping up, the defending king as well, but the Hogs will continue to ignore all of those troops until they've gotten every last defensive structure down. Another big bomb, but the Hogs walk right into another heal spell, and it almost looks like disaster, but they get healed right back up to full. 
through the last of these defensive structures. Just a couple of more. There goes the wizard tower and the mortar converging on that archer tower. And now every single defensive structure is down and the hogs can turn and focus on the skeletons, on the defending king, on all of the other structures. And yes, it is just a matter of time as these hogs face off with a level eight barbarian king. They won't quite finish him off here, but he will go down. And so will the town hall and every other structure in this village as JRCJ completes a three-star town hall eight hog rider war attack. Now it's not often that I show more than one attack replay from the same person, but I was impressed with these hog rider raids and I really want to learn from it and I think maybe others might want to as well. Really like the way JRCJ did this. You can see once again he's facing a dragon in the clan castle and we're going to go a little bit more quickly through this raid. Uh, but again he's going to use a similar strategy, pulling out that dragon, taking out with the dragons of his own down in the corner and then sending in all of the hog riders again. He's chosen a village that is pretty compact and I think that is one of the keys. Uh, really, I would say there's three huge keys to this Town Hall 8 hog rider attack. Watch out for double big bombs. They can end your raid immediately. Deal with the clan castle first and be very careful about where you place those heal spells. JRCJ does it again. Hogs ravaging the village. Three more stars for full attack. Now we did see some other good attack strategies as well. Here's one from the Crispy Panda, bringing in dragons and just a few balloons, rage and heal spells. He's got a level three Barbarian King, a pretty much a mass dragon attack, so it isn't quite as interesting maybe as some of the other attacks. But for an early Town Hall 8, this is probably the way to go. You just need to level up one unit, get the dragon to level three, send them in there, and then it really becomes a matter of spell timing and placement, and also avoiding the anti-dragon base layout, which is something we can talk about in a future episode. But you can see here the Crispy Panda has got one rage spell left right in front of those dragons, also accelerating a small group of balloons to take out that next air defense, and that was key. You can see the dragons following in behind on the town hall, wiping out the rest of the structures and a good spread of dragons from the top to the bottom of the screen evenly spread and they're going to successfully wipe out every single structure and complete another three star victory for the crispy panda and full attack. But wait, there's more. We've got another great Town Hall 8 go wipe attack here from Diamond Miner DM going up against what probably could be considered kind of an anti-dragon base layout very open around the outside. You've got that inner layer of double walls and then all of the air defenses in the inside. And he's drawn out the clan castle and then dropped his golems. And that is very effective because they focus on that golem. There goes the lightning spell. It almost takes out the wizard tower as well. Every last clan castle troop is down. The rage spell, love this. Watch the one wall breaker open up the inner wall. Right there, big open pathway to the town hall enclosure. And here comes the king, the P.E.K.K.A., some wizards, and a golem. Everybody headed right towards the dead center of this village. And there is a heal spell. And again, at Town Hall 8, just such an overpowering attack. Not even an expo to try to slow down these massive units. A lot of damage going on. Not even really a need for a rage spell at this point. They've got plenty of hit points to last through the center of this village. And much, much more as they work their way through the defending king. They're going to start to head back out we pan out and see there's only a couple of wizard towers a couple of mortar towers remain wizards running around they're gonna straight get sprung off the map by a spring trap a couple of more go off with another spring trap at the top of the screen there goes the barbarian king's iron fist and now they're working in concert headed out to the outer structures and right here it looks like this is going to work out perfectly as you see they take out this elixir storage and the pekka go left the king goes right and it looks like great coordination here but then the pekka all turn around i guess they got lonely they didn't want to leave the king behind so now it's looking like all of the high damage high hit point units are off to the right we just got a few archers and wizards on the left and a golem he's going to be stuck against that wall for probably the rest of this attack so now it could be an issue of time because all of those units on the left are going down. There goes the last wizard. He's just about to get wiped out by the wizard tower. And you can see there are still half a dozen structures off to the left side of the screen. As we pan back out, there is the golem still pounding against the wall. Far right of the screen, everybody in a big tight group. And a lot of hit points there with those P.E.K.K.A. still at pretty good health. One of them almost completely full. So it's not going to be a matter of damage. It's going to be a matter of time. How long is it going to take them? But the good thing is the P.E.K.K.A., although slow, are going to demolish these walls in just a couple of shots. And here they come across the screen, bound and determined to get rid of those last six structures. And they will. Plenty of time left as this attack wraps up. Diamond Miner DM, three more Clan War Stars for full attack. 
So we didn't win the war, but I definitely think we have some great attackers, some great strategies for others to learn. I hope you guys learned something too. I definitely did. Please, again, if you get a chance, do check out the URL, Cash for Apps. Use the referral code Galadon in all lowercase letters. You will help out the channel and this series. Watch my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Let me know what you want to see from Town Hall 8. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks. And welcome to another episode oh, Jesus of Playhouse. Peter, seriously, it's either you or the dog. Oh, are you calling me a dog, Galadon? No, that's not. Uh, don't you chime in on this. Three star victory for the. 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 The, uh, the crispy panda and Depez poopsie meet in an alley. Because with those anti hog rider bases, you've got to chickity. You've got to chickity check yourself before you wreck yourself.